Hi, I'm Jarrett Murphy from City Limits and we're standing near the corner of Powell Street and Blake Avenue in Brownsville, Brooklyn. When we started the Five Borough Ballot Project, it was to try to get more citizen voices into the coverage of Campaign 2013. And Brownsville is a place whose voice is often lost. Uh, it's one of the city's poorest areas. It's overwhelmingly black. It's a long subway ride from Manhattan. In my reporting here since February, I haven't met a lot of people who were very enthusiastic about the campaign for mayor. Uh, even people who said they were going to vote often weren't paying attention. Some people weren't going to vote at all. But even among folks who were totally disengaged in the process, uh, there was a lot of engagement in ideas about how to improve their community, uh, not just to help people like themselves, but to help their neighbors. Uh, take Earl and Kindu, uh, two men that I met outside a senior center back in June. Earl had no hope that the election would make any difference in the world. Kindu insisted he was not going to vote. Uh, but both of them had a pretty clear idea of what Brownsville needed. And it wasn't about people like them, it was about young people. Uh, there's a lot of concern here about young people. In some cases, it's fear of them. Uh, in many cases, it's fear for them. And Earl and Kindu thought that the city needed to do more for people who were in their teens and early 20s who had no hope. Earl told me, you can't fault these young kids for what's going on. Every place where there's a possibility they could burn off that energy is closed to them. And Kindu added, there's no positive role models. All the fathers are gone. Moms are being mothers and fathers. Their lives are all messed up, although he used more colorful language than that. That disconnect between people having a really clear idea of what the neighborhood needs, uh, but having no confidence in government to deliver that, that's something I saw a lot in Brownsville during my reporting. And alternately, it was a hopeful and a distressing thing that I found.